<laughs> what time's it? Oh no, I better not be late. The sun's already out. I normally get up in the late. I'm so stupid. Mom told me that this school starts at eight, where I mean nine, where most schools start at seven thirty. So I don't need to get up till like eight or nine. Well, not nine. That'd be bad. I need to get up at like eight thirty. Okay. Okay, I'm good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. The sun is pretty far up though. No. No, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Let's take a look in the mirror, see how we look. Oof. I look great. I'm excited for my new school. Hopefully nobody judges me and I get friends because I don't have any of those. <laughs> okay. We should probably go talk to my mom. <sighs> hey, mom. Hey, hon. How was your sleep? F fine, I guess. Yeah, it was okay. I'm just, I'm really stressed about my first day at this new school. I don't really know anybody. Don't worry. Everybody will love you. Now, what do you want to eat? Um, what do I want to eat? I guess just a sandwich. I don't want to work her too much. Overwork her. Uh, just a sandwich, I guess. But... It's gonna be weird. I've never gone to a new school before, and I have terrible social skills. I've always gone to the same school for like my entire life. Well, I've always had my friends like go to schools with me. Okay, hon. Not gonna comment on my social skills. Thanks, mom. <sighs> Thanks for the sandwich. I'm gonna go eat it over there. I think I'm ready for my new school. I mean, I've never actually gone to a new school. I've always been with the same group of friends and we we went to, we started the same school, preschool together, then we both ventured into home. elementary school, made new friends, and we both ventured all our entire group ventured to middle school, but we were all together so we, were ne we never felt awkward and now I'm alone. I've never had to experience that, and I'm really bad with making new friends. I normally only became friends with people because my friends became friends with them. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I should probably just go though. I mean, I have school soon, and I still need to get my schedule and the map to the school, which my mom said she'd give me. But, yeah. You know what? I'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, I'll be fine. Okay. Hey, mom. Yeah, hon. Do you have my schedule? Oh, um, actually, I don't. We weren't really given it. Oh, I have the map. You have to go to the principal's office, and then she'll give you your schedule from there. Oh, thanks. You look great, sweetheart. Don't worry. You'll be fine. Thanks. C can I have the schedule in the map? Here. Thanks. Okay, now I need to get there. Okay, so where do we go? Do we go this way? Maybe. Or maybe we go this way. Ugh, these maps are so confusing. Okay. Looks like the school's over there, so I'm assuming we go this way, because if we went this way, that'd be kind of weird. Okay, yeah. And now, obviously, you have to go here because we have to follow the sidewalk. I'm not just gonna cut through people's yards because that's rude. Okay, um, now. Am I supposed to cross here and then go that way or this way? Maybe this way? No, that, that, one, that, that wouldn't make sense, but that's what the map is showing. Hmm. I was holding it upside down. It's this way. Okay, yeah. To turn here. I have a nice house. Um, and so confused. Hmm. Okay. Which way is it? This way, yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, this is the school. This town is so small. I don't know how I could get lost. Now, do I cross here and then cross over there? There's no sidewalk. Hmm. Maybe my mom was supposed to drop me off. No, it seems like most kids walk. Most kids live near the school. I think I'll just go this- Oh, look, there's a crosswalk up there. I'm so stupid. A pan under construction? This house looks like a mess. Yeah. I wonder who lives here. I wish we got this house. They're lucky. What is up with those doors? How come nobody here has doors? Maybe nobody lives here. This town is still like building itself. <gasps> Horsey! No, get out the road! A car's, car's gonna come and hit you. You know that, right? Bad horsey. Hmm. There's a girl. I uh, guess not bother her. Look, this school has so many animals. Sheep, another horsey, a piggy, and a cow. Oh, they're so cute. Hello. Um, okay. So, my mom said I need to go to the principal's office. This school looks so big. These are lockers. Our school didn't have lockers. We were given cubbies, like little first graders. Those people just put like phones in there and stuff. Or their PE clothes. I wonder if I get a locker. Okay, I need to go to the principal's office. I wonder where that is. The middle, this is so pretty. This is so much prettier than my old school. We even have benches and oh, so beautiful. I wonder where all the students are. I don't know where the classrooms are here. No. Okay. Um, maybe all the students are supposed to go to their classes before school starts. Cause, well, I mean, I don't have my phone on me right now. <laughs> I didn't bring it. But I really hope school's not started yet. Because I mean, there's no students here. Do students just arrive early, early, or do students arrive late? I mean, I heard the school is pretty small on students. So, yeah. Where is that classroom? See, no, that's the outdoors. Wait. They have a whole track and soccer field? And I bet that's the gym, too. Jeez. Our school, we ain't... We had PE in the cafeteria. And most of the time it was just outside. This place is huge. Is this it? No. I heard that this school is still under construction though. So they're still adding more classrooms and as they add more classrooms, more students. Is this it? That looks like her. Oh no, she's looking at me. Okay, I should just go in and ask. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be fine. Right? I'm not sure. Um, I, I, I can do this. Come on, Andy. Um, hello? Hello? Are you the principal? Yes, I am. Oh, I'm a new student. My name is a Andy? We only have one new student today. Aren't you Andy? Yes, I am. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Um, I was told I needed to come here to pick up my schedule. Yes, you were told correct. But you were supposed to get here 30 minutes ago. What? 30 minutes ago? I barely even left my house. What? Nothing. I can't help. Believe my mom did not tell me that we were supposed to be here 30 minutes ago. Oh, she tells me nothing. Um, hello. Oh, oh, sorry. I do that. Um, I I'm sorry. Did you get lost? Yeah. Let's go. With that. That's okay. New students get lost all the time. Although I don't know how. The school is so small. The school is small. The school is like the size of. Town. Sorry, I meant the town is small, and the school is small. I'm used to working at a big in a big city and a huge boarding school. Oh, 
Did you... Were you tired of working there? No, I, I got fired. How could a principal get fired? You'd be surprised. That gives me hope. Um, can I just have my schedule, please? Oh, yes. Your locker number and... Your locker number is on there. And you will need to add a lock to it. Okay. Now go. Your class starts in two minutes. Two minutes? Give me my schedule. Thank you. Okay. Well, seems like I have English with Mr. O'Brien. Yeah. Okay. Where is that? I heard the schools like small and students. Maybe I should find my locker. No, I have like a minute to get to class. Is this him? Oh my god, I'm so lucky. This is Mr. O'Brien. Probably. It says English. Oh, gross. Get a room. Um, hello, Mr. Hello. I'm Andy. I'm new here. Are you Mr. O'Brien? Who else would I be? I don't know. Sorry. Um, I'm, I'm new. Obviously. Uh, wh where do I sit? Just sit over there. There? Yes, by the girl with the purple hair, the guy in the pastel clothing, and the girl with the flower crown. Thanks. <sighs> Don't need to thank me. I'm doing my job. Sorry. Um, is this it? I feel like I'm intruding. Hi. Never mind him. What? He's just cranky. Oh. Hi. My name's Lauren. What's yours? Andy. Cool. That guy over there, he's Caleb. And the girl in front of you? Hi. That's Lexa. Alexa? Lexa. Is that short for Alexa? No, it's just Lexa. Again. Sorry. Well, why are you talking to me? Because you're new here and you probably don't have any friends. What? Who told you that? It was obvious. You look like a mouse. What do you mean by that? She doesn't mean that you actually look like a mouse, obviously. What she means is that you look scared like a mouse when they see a cat or something like that? Oof, that rhymed. Oh my god, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. I just thought I'd thought we'd talk to you. Unless you don't want to talk to us. No, no, that's very appreciated. Okay. Megan, you're freaking the girl out. Sorry. Hi, Caleb. Hi. Hmm. Anyways, don't mind the teacher. He's really cranky and rude. Oh. I thought class starts. Yeah, he doesn't really teach us. He doesn't? No. Never. Oh. Yeah. Well, the thing is, he's... He teaches us, but not all the time. And learning, he's normally just still waking up, so... Yeah. But welcome to our school. I'm Megan. As you already know, that's Lexa and that's Caleb. That's Mr. O'Brien up there. It's Lucas in the blues hoodie. Um, the girl behind us, that's Cambria. Uh, the girl in the brown hair, brown eyes, and green sweatshirt and like hoodie thingy. That's... Rissa and the guy behind us hmm? yeah that one it's Michael we don't have a lot of guys in the school and the two making out over there that's Mark and Sydney oh that's all all they do just try and ignore them that's what we all try to do oh yeah We're the cool kids. Don't buy. No, we're not. 
Shut up! What? I'm so confused. <sighs> Megan is trying to get you in our group by saying we're the cool kids, but that's actually a lie. We're known as the misfits. It's because I'm super nice and everyone takes advantage of me, which I know by now. Uh, Megan, on the other hand, can be super mean and nobody takes advantage of her. So I guess if we kind of put us together, we're just a normal person. And then Caleb, Caleb over there, well, he was a lot of pastel clothing and other things. You can probably see why he's made fun of. He's not like the average jock. Yeah. I don't want you to, I want you to know what you're getting into before you try and become our friends. I consider you a friend already because you seem pretty cool and we're going to have to sit by each other in this class for almost the entire year. Entire year? Yeah. He's never moved our seats. Oh. I have a teacher like that. Or had. <sighs> Don't. I can't believe you told her that. What? We never tell people this. Well, actually, we never try to. But then Lexa goes and does it and messes it up because we don't have enough friends. Now you're not going to want to be our friends because we're known as the misfits and made fun of. Oh. See? She already hates us. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, Megan, but I'm not going to let somebody become our friends by your ways, which are lying to people. Yeah, but no one's going to become our friends from telling the truth. Wait, no, guys, I like you. I'll be your friend. Really? Really? Yeah. Um. Is he always this quiet? He's pretty talkative, but recently he's always on his phone. And in the mornings, it's... Well, in the mornings, he... He doesn't really sleep, so he just kind of... Days it off and doesn't pay attention to us. Hey, I still understand what's going on, though. I can hear you talking about me. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Anyways. The teacher probably won't start talking for another 15 minutes, so we always are piled with a bunch of homework in this class. But the people who have in second, third, fourth, fifth, or sixth period are never piled with homework because, well, He's awake during that class. It sucks, but it's great because people like Caleb get to get to sleep as well. Oh. Are we making you uncomfortable? Lexa, that's not how you talk to someone! Sorry! No, it's not you guys. I'm just I'm just really so socially awkward. Same. Well actually. You're not. Okay, that's the thing. I'm kind of socially awkward, but I always end up making people awkward, you know? I guess. Megan's the most socially awkward out of all of us, but she just she just has so much confidence, but well, Megan isn't socially awkward, she's like me. She makes me feel uncomfortable. But then there's Caleb who's just like oh, so socially awkward. So if you join our group, then we won't be alone. Well, we need a normal girl. I already said I'd be your friend. Really? That's great. <laughs> I can see we're making you uncomfortable. Uh, Lexa, that's not how you talk to someone. Sorry. I we should probably sit down because it's almost been 15 minutes and the teacher's gonna class sit down do that oh okay sorry we're always talking about like joining our group and i know it's kind of weird and cringy but that's just how we are it's okay i'm super cringy and weird too really well just funny you know that we're honestly we're really all really fun people who are complete opposites but somehow became friends and we just don't want people to feel alone on their first day. I won't. Alexa, Andy, stop talking and pay attention to the lesson. Class is important. He says that, yet he sleeps through almost the entire period. Alexa? S Sorry, Mr. Mr. O'Brien, I was just... I was just helping Andy here get settled in. You're nice like that. 
Now pay attention! Sorry. Sorry. Andy? Huh? Huh? What? You fell asleep. What'd I miss? A lot of homework. But that's okay. We all have a lot of homework. <sighs> Dang it. He's going to announce it by the end of class. I was just thinking, do you want to have lunch with us? I, when I first came here, I didn't have any friends and they never invited me to lunch. They just kind of expected I'd come hang out with them and then they walked over to me and they're like, hey, hey, where are you? So I was wondering if you wanted to have lunch with us so you don't feel awkward. I've been in your shoes before, very first day of high school. Everyone already knew each other from middle school, but I was from a different middle school and it was, it was hard. Yeah, I'd love to. I'll meet you there. Great. Lexa, Andy, shush. Sorry. I'm gonna go back to sleep. That's the bell. Gotta go. Um, Andy? Andy. Andy! <gasps> yes? The bell rang. That was a bell? Yeah, everyone's gathering their things. We need to leave. We only have a three minute passing period. Three minutes! How do people expect you to go to the bathroom in that amount of time? They expect you to do it, but the school is so big that it just doesn't happen. Oh, okay. It's the bell. Did everyone already leave? Jeez. Okay. Next I have... Lunch. Okay. Let's put this back. Okay. Where's lunch? Just on the third floor. I think we're on the second floor. I have to check though. Is this the second floor? Yeah, it is. <gasps> okay, that was close. I almost just fell off. Yeah, this is the second floor. So we go up one more. I wonder how many floors this has. This place is huge. It has a third floor? Fourth floor? Where's that to? Does it have a fifth floor? Oh, this is a- it's raining. I should not be out there. So this is the third floor here, I think. Where's the lunch room? Is that it? Yes. Okay, so I'm supposed to sit with Caleb, Megan, and Lexa. Okay, um, where are they? Maybe they're not here yet. I'm, I'm just gonna get a soda or something. Yeah, so. Yeah, Jesus! Can they, like, not? I mean, at least the other two people are here. Sort of like every class of them, and they're always thinking out. Just like, just go to this one, and oh, they're, they're at this one. Okay, um, where are they? I wanna get a soda, but. I don't want to go over there. Where are they? Hmm. Hello? Who are you? I don't want to know. Let's just... Let's just... <laughs> make it so uncomfortable. Ew, <laughs> gross. I guess I just have to sit here. Maybe they actually have first lunch. We never asked. And they have lunch with. I wonder where I can sit. Can't sit there, that's seats filled. They're probably gonna sit there. Maybe I'll sit with them. No. Okay then. And this thing just scares me. 
I don't even sit over there. Cause them, them, they're just, they're making everyone here uncomfortable. I'll just sit alone, I guess. I'm gonna be a misfit in no day. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, but I don't wanna be made fun of. I'm making everyone around them uncomfortable. Hey! <gasps> Jesus! Oh my god. Alexa! You scared me! Sorry. Where have you been? Here. This is the lunchroom, right? Yeah, it is. Did we not tell you where we have lunch? No. Oh. Well, most people don't actually have lunch in the lunchroom, you know? No, I didn't know that. Well... The only people that do are two couples, Sophie and Ryan, and Mark and Sydney. Those weird kids over there, and that weird fox thing. That makes us all uncomfortable. Those girls and those people, nobody really has lunch in here. We're allowed to have lunch wherever we want, even in the classrooms, if there's a teacher in there and they allow it. We normally have lunch outside by a tree. Oh. Yeah. I guess we forgot to tell you. Yeah, you did. Sorry that you've been so uncomfortable here. Do you want to... Do you want me to show you where we eat? It's pretty far away, so you're allowed to have your phones out and stuff. I didn't bring my phone. Oh. Well, that's okay. The only person who's really ever on his phone is Caleb texting some person, but we don't know who it is yet. Oh. Yeah. He won't tell us, and it's really annoying. Anyways. Come on, I'll show you where we sit. Follow me. Uh, okay. So. This is where you guys all have lunch? Yeah. It's pretty nice out here. Yeah. It's pretty far away from the school, though. I can't even see it. Yeah, so we normally have to leave like 10 minutes before lunch, or 15 minutes before lunch ends, so that we have 10 minutes to get to the building, and then 5 minutes to walk to our class. Yeah. I'm really unlucky, and my class is so far away. It's like the very front of the building. What class is it? Physics. With who? Miss Arabello. I have that too. What period? Fifth, of course. It's period after fourth, and lunch is after fourth. So fifth is after lunch, and lunch is before fifth, so I get it. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I have that class too. Um, maybe we could walk together. Sure. Great. Um, so, what do you guys never normally do? Well, ye well we used to all talk about, like, how school's going, like all the drama and stuff, you know. I wouldn't assume you'd be one to be into that stuff. Just because of my hair color and the stuff I wear? No, I don't mean to offend you. Mm-hmm, sure. Well, we used to do that, but now all Caleb does is text somebody on his phone and Lexa's not into that sort of stuff. Oh. Yeah. Who is he texting? He won't tell us. Caleb, who are you texting? No one. You're obviously texting someone. No, I'm not. Who is it? Get away! Hey. What is it, like a crush or something? No. It's my sister. You don't have a sister. My brother. You don't have a brother. My stepsister. You're an only child! <laughs> well, I mean, I don't mind talking about the drama that's happening in school. I do. It's rude to intrude on someone's lives. They don't want people to know about what's happening, so we shouldn't talk about it, because it's none of our business. You're way too nice. So it's happening. You know that those two people who always make out in the lunchroom? No. 
well there's sophia i mean sophie and ryan and there's mark and sydney turns out that sophie has a crush on mark and he's using ryan to make him jealous we don't know if this is true but it was on some drama site so it's it's a pretty big deal who cares about this stuff it's not important what's important is her future <laughs> who cares about that tell me more about this we don't know if it's true but everybody's saying it is and so far it's been ruining ryan and sophie's relationship and apparently according to one of sydney's ex-best friends she is so done with mark and she thinks he's so annoying but like he's a popularity booster so she stays with him which is in causing some drama with their relationship so sophie has a really big crush on mark she's just like been trying to hang out with him in all classes i've seen it there's one class that mark and sydney aren't in together and that class sophie is all over him it's like always like oh my god i dropped the pencil and stuff like that and it's like pretty big deal <laughs> who cares i care no let's talk about you so how's life boring let's talk about this you know what if you guys want to talk about relationships we can talk about them but we're not going to talk about other people's we can talk about ours are you in a relationship no is anyone here i mean none of the girls are i don't know about caleb though huh <laughs> whatever i've been in one before i was in one in eighth grade and seventh grade but they all ended and now i've never been in one because i'm a misfit <laughs> have you no i've always been a strong believer in you shouldn't get in a relationship in middle school because you're not mature enough to handle them. They're honestly all just popularity. Yeah. I guess I was pretty popular in middle school, but that's besides the point. Yeah. Hey, why do you wear those ears? Those ears? Oh. I don't know. I think they're cute. Maybe that's another reason why people think I'm weird. They wear wolf ears. Well, other people wear cat ears to school. But I guess those are ones that are like the cute like little beaded headbands. I mean look more realistic. Yeah. Have you guys ever been in a relationship? Caleb hasn't. As far as we know. Lauren, have you? Well, I had one person date me. Then we broke up after a week, as I said. But other than that, no. We're all kind of lonely. Yes. All of you guys have been in relationships, but I'm a single Pringle forever. Yay! Is that really a thing you should celebrate? No, but it just makes me feel better about my failures. You know? Yeah. Hey guys. What? Um, we have 15 more minutes until we need to get to class. And you and Lexa have to are gonna have to run it if we take any longer <laughs> oh shoot yeah where is that class it's at the very front well i know our first period class is at the very front it's like next to it we can take a shortcut through the courtyard but we're not really supposed to but no one really follows that rule okay what do you guys have next i have pe you i have art it's the best class, obviously. Hmm. Okay, well, guys, we have eight minutes. What? Come on, Maxa, we need to go. We need to run. Run! I need to get my locker. It's still my soda. I never really finished that. Wow, my first day of school could have gone worse seeing as i made some friends although they weren't the most popular they're pretty great i don't know why they're not popular they're all pretty nice 
Speaking of my friends, there's one of them now. I wonder where the other two are. Might as well ask her. Hey, Alexa. Hey. Uh, where are Megan and Caleb? Well, I have to wait in the library, seeing as Megan's parents always pick them up. Oh, that's cool. So, um... Oh, okay. Yeah, so... I just normally wait here. Do you wait for them? No, actually, I normally leave right as school ends, because I hate... If you don't leave really early or really late, you get stuck in the traffic jams, and... There's not that many students at this school, so as more students come, such as yourself, it gets even worse. Oh. Yeah. Then why are you waiting? A f kind of friend. More like acquaintance. I don't have that many friends. Of mine borrowed my textbook, and I need it back for homework. I have a lot of homework. Same. Though I'm probably not actually going to do it until 10 o'clock at night. I'm gonna regret it, but you know, that's just me. <laughs> You're very relatable. Yeah. So, where do you live? Uh, what? I know it's forward. I'm just curious. We have such a small town. Oh, I live over there. A few streets over. Cool. I live in the apartments behind us. Those? Yep. Very top floor. I live with my mom and my dad and my baby sister. <sighs> Aren't those small? Very. But, we make it work somehow. We actually have two apartments. So, one's for me and my sister, and one's for my mom and dad. We kind of all hang out with my mom and dad's, but me and my sister get room for us to sleep and stuff, you know? Yeah, I know. Anyways, <laughs> you should probably go, because I can see the crowd coming now. I can hear them. Yeah, so... I'll see you tomorrow? Yeah, see you tomorrow. Okay, my first day of school could have gone worse. Honestly, I'm very surprised. Although I do have a lot of homework. When I go home, I'm gonna watch some TV. We need to remember the route, so no map. I think I went, I don't know where I went. I remember I turned left, so it's probably up here, but I turned left. There we go. And this first day of school could have gone worse. I mean, I met some friends and they weren't the best friends in the world. I mean, because they weren't super popular. I mean, they make everyone love me, but at least they're real friends. Because when you're unpopular, you have people who become your fake friends and then that's not very important when well, when you're not popular, you have those real friends who always count on you, or at least that's what I've heard. And yeah, so, wait, was I just here? No. No, wait, I was just here. Where do I go? supposed to turn here I'm so annoyed but I was paranoid for nothing maybe I don't lack in social has and social so stupid so I can't English and social skills as much as I think I do that's a lie I really do have bad social skills as you can tell we are all very awkward but as I can tell I'm annoying I said you but that's okay so yeah I made it. I didn't even realize it. Hey mom, I'm home. Hey honey. How was school? Oh, it was great. Oh, that's great. Did you make any friends? I made a few. I told you you'd make friends. You'd do fine. You're such a fun person. Thanks. So, tell me about these friends of yours. Well, one is named Megan, she has purple hair and she wears black and she has a deep voice and she's really nice. Actually, no. She's the meanest one, but she's still like she's still nice to me, you know? I guess. And then I met another one who's so so nice. She has green eyes maybe? Really light skin. She's really skinny and small and she has a super high voice and her name is Lexa. What? Her name's Lexa. 
Alexa? No, it's actually, it's Alexa. Everyone like thinks like, that people say Alexa because when you say it fast, it sounds like Lex sounds like Alexa, like L Alexa, but it's actually Alexa. What? Never mind. And then I met this other person named Caleb. You met a guy? Yeah, he's really nice, except he's been on his phone sleeping in class. All three of them are really good friends, but you met a guy? Mom, don't worry about him. Caleb's fine. I cannot see me getting like, like in like a relationship with him ever. Just, just letting you know that. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's really nice. He's been on his phone recently a lot and sleeping in class, but he's nice. I don't know him that well out of the all of the three, but apparently they're called the misfits. And although they're not, although they're the unpopular kids in school, they're still really nice. Oh, um, you're friends with the unpopular kids? Yeah, does popularity matter to you, Mom? No, it's just like, I feel like the unpopular kids are normally very mean. No, they're nice. They're made fun of because they're so different, yet yeah, all three friends. And... But they're actually, like, really nice people. And when they're unpopular, you know that they're actually going to be your friend for you, and not for popularity, because, you know... Yeah, so you might want to get started on your homework. Homework. Actually, mom, I don't. I don't have any homework. Are you sure, honey? I'm. I'm sure. Definitely. I'm gonna watch some TV though. Okay. Yeah. Why don't you have homework? Uh, be because they thought they'd be really nice since they have first new kid in a really long time. I thought they got new kids like every two days. No, 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 mom. They don't. They don't. No. It's the first new kid in a really long time. You, you don't know what you're talking about. And so they were like, oh, no homework for that the entire school. Oh, that's nice, I guess. Yeah, definitely what happened. It's definitely not 